Okay, so you want to undervolt your RTX 4060 or even the 4060 Ti maybe because the procedure is actually the same for those two cards. Well, this is the right video for you and it will allow you to save some money on your electricity bill while at the same time reducing the temperature, reducing again obviously the power consumption and actually it will increase your FPS depending on how you do it and it will increase your 1% lows FPS regardless of how you do it. So I say we get started, but first I want you to promise one thing. If this tutorial is helpful, you will thank me, subscribe to the channel and drop a like, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so here we are into Windows. Now you will need two softwares, MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. You will find both of them in the video description. Now, open up Heaven Benchmark, uncheck the full screen option and run it. When it's running, pull out MSI Afterburner. Here we are. You wanna then go into settings and check the unlock the voltage and voltage monitoring. Hit apply, hit yes, it will reboot Afterburner. And here we are. Now, what do we wanna do? We wanna go on Curve Editor, right here, okay. And now we will have two different profiles for you guys, okay. Now, just a reminder, I also have a fan speed video on the channel. So if you need that, you can go check it out. But basically, first profile is gonna be for maximum efficiency and the lowest power consumption, lower temperature ever. Second profile is gonna be for more FPS, more performance. So let's go through it. Now, you wanna hold shift and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point curve and bring it all the way up via the left click, okay? All the way up to 25, 50, right there. Now release shift release the left button. Now you wanna click on the void once. Now hold shift and clicking on the void right on the right side of the point we brought up. You wanna select the whole curve. Now release shift, release the left click and now left click on the curve and lower it to zero. At this point, we go in here, we hit apply and our curve is applied. So as you can see, we are now running at a constant 900 millivolt and at a constant 2.5 gigahertz. So 2550 megahertz right there. Now you wanna max out the power limit, max out the temperature limit right there, hit apply. And now you wanna go on memory clock and hit plus 800, hit apply. And here we go. Our memory is now close to 10,000 megahertz. And our undervolt is fully complete. As you can see, my card is running at 45 degrees under full load and everything is running perfectly. So you can just save this profile there, set MSI to start with Windows, go into settings, set it to start with Windows, start minimize, hit apply, hit OK, and we are good. So yes, however, you might wanna input a different profile and make even more performance. So I will guide you through it, okay? So profile number two, let's go. Let's reset everything. Let's click on the void to uncheck the selection, perfect. And now what we wanna do is we go on the 950 millivolt voltage point because we're giving it a bit extra voltage this time, okay? So just left click, shift, hold it up. But this time to 2550, which is exactly what our car does at stock, okay? So lift it all the way there. And now same procedure, you click on the void, shift, left click, select all of it, bring it all the way to zero, hit apply. And as you can see, our card is now running at 2550 with a 950 millivolt voltage point, so much lower than stock. So we are saving on power, saving on temperature, getting more performance. The performance is not dropping any time because it's a flat line, it can't go up and down. And now we are gonna unlock the temperature limit, give it plus 800 on the memory for extra FPS, save it, and now your card is better than ever. So yes, please remember your promise, Drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials on the channel for CPUs as well. I have builds like the one I'm using today. I built it for just 500 bucks with a 4060 Ti, etc. So yeah, I hope it was helpful and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.